Hey, I just wanted to do a review on stoves. Um, since I'm planning a through hike this summer up the Long Trail in Vermont, I decided I needed to start looking at some of my gear choices and um, have loved my jet boil for the past at least 10 years. Um, never had a problem with it, but it's big and it's uh, 15 and a half ounces and it's seven inches tall. So it takes up a lot of space in my backpack. Well, everybody talks about the titanium mugs. So I went out and got myself what the Snow Peak titanium mug. It's, I think it's the 600. Um, it's light, I give you that. But there's some things about it that I'm not crazy about. I don't like the lid. I don't like that it doesn't stay on well. And I don't see myself ever using this little hang tab. And I don't like the fact that um, it's not insulated. So you can't just put your hands around your mug and drink your cup of coffee. So I should say with a disclaimer that I don't do any um, cooking in my mug it's just going to be for boiling water, which is all that I did in my jet boil. Um, I will drink some things out of this, um, coffee or tea, uh, but really I'm just boiling water to do freezer bag cooking with. So in getting the titanium mug, I also needed to get a new stove to go with it. So I got the jet boil Mighty Mo, which is their new version um, to compete with MSRs. I didn't really have a good reason for doing the jet boil over the MSR, um, except for I'm comfortable with the jet boil brand because I've had such good luck with my other one for so many years. Um, I do like that it boils fast and I liked the ignition on it. Um, I know that also with the jet boil you can do a simmer, which you can't necessarily do with all of the other stoves. It's either on or off. So I liked that. However, with just boiling water, I'm not really sure if that's necessary for me. Anyways, it's three and a half ounces. I know you can get lighter. I know you can get less expensive, but I went with my comfort zone. I haven't used it out on the trail yet, but I'm um, looking forward to it. I've just turned it on at home just to see what it's like and, and so far so good. So those are my two big components of my new system, is my Jet Boil Mighty Mo and my Snow Peak Titanium um, 600 mug. But what I've done is some modifications to my mug that I wanted to share with you that I have not seen anybody else talk about. All right, so I'm gonna put my stove. I uh, cut a little sponge really thin and of course my can of fuel fits inside. Um, so one of the things that I've done is I bought some um, medium silicone tubing from Amazon. It's three and thir three thirty seconds inch diameter and it fit perfectly onto these handles. It took me a few minutes to slide them on, but it worked just fine. I put some dishwashing detergent in the hole and just threaded them through very slowly, very carefully, so that I didn't tear the silicone tubing. Um, so that was one project that I did to, uh, to go ahead and modify this mug. Let me just get this back on. There we go. The second thing that I did, which you saw at the beginning, was I made a koozie out of Reflectix, um, a car sunshade, and you can find lots of tutorials on doing that. I like also now that this isn't going to rattle as much, and I can put my hands around my mug when I'm drinking my coffee. It's just a little thing, but for me, for whatever reason, it's something that means a lot. Then... I'm still back at the lid. What do I do about the lid? Well, on a whim, I tried my lid from my jet boil, and guess what? It fits perfectly. I don't have to use little hot lips. Um, my 
lid will now stay on with my fuel tank and my stove inside of it. I don't have to worry about like putting a rubber band around it to all stay on. With this I did, it was flapping on and off. Um, my lips are insulated, the food inside of it's better insulated, and it's a snug fit. So if you are getting the titanium pot and you already have other cook systems, I know a lot of people have more than one cook system, just think about the interchangeability of items from one system to the other. I just really lucked into this and I couldn't be happier. Um, it's not trail tested yet, but I don't really see that there's much to test about it. It stays on really well. Uh, so the old jet boil stove is 15.5 ounces and it's seven inches tall. It's five and a half ounces. With the jet boil mighty mo, it's um, almost eight and a half ounces. So it's seven ounces less than my old cook system and almost half the height. So I feel like I've done, you know, I've cut everything in half almost. So that, that feels really good. Um, one thing I will just point out, while I had a postal scale out, I weighed these two lids. And even though this one is bulkier and it's made out of, you know, this rubber material, it actually weighs exactly the same as this lid from the titanium um, mug. I'm not sure this is titanium. I think it's actually aluminum. It's heavier duty than the mug itself. Um, so swapping one lid out for the other makes absolutely no difference in the weight of, of my system. So there you go. I just wanted to share my discovery.